So this is a good fat burning exercise. Lots of cardio and lots of core. And uh, you're not getting quite as many beeps as usual. I will be saying switch between the uh, high intensity cardio and the core exercise. Exercise number one that we are starting off with, you're in a squat, you're gonna do a wide together, come up, little body twist, so my legs are facing that way, body facing this way, back to the middle, wide together, little twist. And then we're trying to go as fast as possible, because it's high intensity. All right, let's go. So squat, wide together, twist, down, wide together, twist, down, wide. Together, twist. After this, we are going to go straight into lying on the back. Legs start off vertical up in the air, and you'll be rotating little, uh, sorry, uh, doing a little plie as your legs are lowering down towards the ground. All right, switch. So onto the ground, straight into the next exercise. Legs start off high. And we're doing that little plie. Front foot, left, front foot, right, left, all the way down to the ground. And then working your way back up again. Nice, Ste <coughs> steady move. Just choking on my uh, pre-workout snack. Uh, try to keep the legs as straight as possible. The lower down you go, the harder the exercise is on the lower back. So if you need to make it less challenging on lower back, you just don't go down quite as low. So after this, we are jumping right back up and straight into those uh, jumping squat twists. All right, straight up. So you don't have any time to switch. Down, wide, together, twist. Down, wide, together, twist. Try to keep the hands up by the ears while you're in that squat. And try to be moving as quick as possible. And switch back onto the ground. Quick switches. See if I can manage not to choke on my pre-workout snack now. So the legs, they're doing that little uh, right leg in front, left leg in front, right leg in front as they go lower toward the ground and then coming back up. Keep belly pulled tight throughout. That will help to make sure your lower back doesn't feel it. But like I said before, if your lower back does start to feel it, just don't go down quite so low. Stop a little higher. Nice deep breaths, and we have four rounds of each exercise. And I want you to be really trying to switch as quick as possible, because that fast transition is what's gonna make this exercise even more challenging. So you're gonna be switching really quickly without time to get your breath back, and straight in. So down, wide, together, twist. Squat, wide, together, twist. And if you need to make it a little easier, well, you could be stepping these squats instead of jumping them. And just moving slightly slower will make the whole workout a little bit lower intensity. Okay, switch. Try to keep the legs straight. Try not to be holding tight to the mat. Use your abdominal muscles, keeping them nice and taut to be working the core, rather than holding on here, which means you'll then have a lot of tension in the shoulders, which you don't need to have extra tension in the shoulders. There's usually enough there anyways. Nice, steady breathing. There's no right or wrong way to be breathing in and out here. You're just making sure that you're not holding your breath, which would be wrong. Nice and steady. 
ready. Ready to leap back up off the floor. And switch and go. Come on, let's be jumping already. This isn't one of the hardest ones to start off with. How do you do in gently? Always thinking. I don't want to make it too nasty to begin.
Well done. Keep it going. Between the shoulder blades. Keep it squeezed. I just had to remind myself. Bear in mind, this is not a workout using any weights. Ooh, my arms are burning. Come on, keep that speed going as fast as you can. Gets a little tough on the knees and that's even with a mat. You could also put a cushion underneath. Just have to make sure whatever you put there, you're not falling over it. This is number three. We have one more. We have hand up to this. Okay, quick switch. Try to decide whether I prefer it on the hands or on the elbows. On the hands, it's definitely tougher on the uh, wrists. It's a marginally easier plank. But it's harder on the sides. So all in all, it pretty much balances out. Nice and steady. No need to rush through this one. So as fast as you are going for the high intensity interval, the core bit, you're much better off focusing on the good form. Keep the right muscles engaged. Alright, quick, straight in, let's go. Whew. This one is good to get the blood flowing back again in the arms. Let's sit still for the plank. I'm bearing in mind, I didn't think this one was all that tough. But it's really getting me breathing hard. Heart rate is up there, I can tell. So it's a good one. Plank, working the heart and lungs really hard. And they are all muscle. So the harder you work them, the stronger they get. And obviously, strong heart and lungs is always going to stand you in good step. Nice deep breaths here. Try to fully expand the lungs. Try and get the breathing correct. However, just make sure you're not holding your breath and you're trying to have as big of a breath in and then completely empty the lungs as well with every breath. Oh boy. Wow. That was hard. Okay. Two down. Okay, so number three. I need my mat out of the way a little for this one. So step back lunge into a jump. So down and jump. Then switch legs. Down and jump. Switch. Down. Jump. Switch. Faster you go, obviously the harder it is. The higher you jump, the better is exercise number one. And then exercise number two, you're going to be lying on your front and you're going to do an oblique lift. So you're lifting up towards the left, lifting up towards the right. I'll demonstrate better when we get there. Okay, so lunge and jump, switch and jump. You're trying to switch as quick as possible, jump as high as possible. And make sure that that back knee is down as low as possible. So without hitting your knee on the ground, try and stay upright. Alright, switch. So we're lying, belly down, lift up, more to the right. So a right lift. Left lift. Legs staying down on the ground. As you lift up, you're breathing out. As you're lowering, you're breathing in. And you're trying to make sure it's a lift and not pushing off the ground. And you're lifting as high up as you 
can. But keep the head lined up with the back. So don't let your head overextend. Lift up. Breathe out. Lower. Breathe in. Make sure that you go completely down so that for a fraction of a second your back gets a break. Perfect. If you're holding up the whole time, you can start to get a little bit of cramp in the back, which is never good. Come on, it's the last one. Go with nice big jumps there. arms moving as well. The next one, oh the next one, 
low. Um, now, if you need to make it a little easier on the knees, you could do side to side lunges like this. Um, and if that's still tough on the knees, then you've always got the option of the high knees. So, side to side, fast as you can, and then I'll tell you the core when we get there. All right, go. So, get the arms moving as well, and you really can get your feet going as fast as you can. Imagine you're doing the uh, moguls. Having never done those before, I imagine it probably feels nothing like this. However, I want you out of breath. If you want to move around the room, you can. I can't because I need to stay on camera. All right, next one. Down on the ground, on your side, elbow up to knees. So elbow to knees. Staying right on that hip. Trying not to be rolled over onto the back and arm. Out straight is fine. Here is fine. You're again trying to be lifting and not pushing. Breathe out on the up, in on the down, and quick switch. Go all the way down. So you get a good stretch through the oblique muscles when you're lying out flat. Nice breath in. Fully expand the lungs. Fully empty them out when you're lifting up. Ready for those pogos again. All right, let's go. Come on, the moguls. Fast as you can. Moving the arms as well. Just means you are burning more. More cardiovascular. And the wider you jump, the harder it is. Pick what works best for you. Fast is good too. So you're trying to go for speed. Switch. Okay, back down on the ground. Elbow to opposite knee, let's go. Try to lift as high as you can. Going all the way down. In between. Halfway. Quick spin. Obviously, you guys don't have to spin. I just don't want to turn my back to you. You can just roll over. Get that good stretch. Pogo, Mokol number three, ready to fly up. Let's go. I think I might dislike these ones most out of all of them. I didn't think I would. And this one could be tough on knees. If you have an injured knee, that side push off. Don't do it if it's hurting. Switch to those other, one of those other options. One more round after this, and then one more set. Two new exercises after this one. All right, quick switch. I will not be sorry to finish these. I cannot even imagine 
doing the moguls. You see them do them, and they look so jarring. Come on, keep going. Speed it up. Five seconds. Switch. Oh, that's hard. There's a reason why these high intensity workouts tend to be some of the shorter ones. Tough to keep going for longer. Halfway. Remember, you're trying to lift, not push. Really feel that squeeze on this muscle here, on these muscles. Have the breathing right, you'll feel it that much more.
changes. So not necessarily the same every time, same distance, and then trying to keep up. Switch. Anyway, we can keep it from getting boring or repetitive. Maybe boring is the wrong word. There's a lot of core in this one. My abs are now screaming at me. I'm realizing that I can barely breathe. But my core is feeling it too. Switch. Oh, we got a minute and a half left. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. I'm happy now it's over. 